Hey Libras and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weekly love reading. This is from now until the end of December 2018. I hope you guys are having a beautiful December. Pardon me. I can't believe we are at the end of the year already. Crazy how fast 2018 went. Okay, your guys' romance angel card is past life relationships. You have known this person before. All right, so let's see what Libra's got. I ask that all messages from the universe are for the best and greatest good of our Libra viewers as well as our cross watchers out there. All right, thank you. All right, beautiful. Your guys' first two cards, temperance and strength. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Leo. Either that or you are finally um, bringing balance to your life. Facing your fears and moving forward in a very um, positive direction. One more for Libra, please. All right. The Queen of Pentacles. So we got fire and earth so far. The person you are dealing with. The Queen of Wands in the upright. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. And the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Definite heavy Sagittarius here or Leo, but you got a lot of earth here too. What's the outcome for our Libras for the next two weeks? I apologize. My face is so itchy. Your guys' energy is so strong. All right. The two of wands, the nine of pentacles, and the moon. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy is the six of swords. Clarified by the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups in reverse. So we'll start with your shared energy. You are moving away from some uh, relationship that is emotionally draining to you, that has been rough um, the last six months to a year, uh, could be two years for some of you, but you are um, finding the strength and the courage to move forward into uh, a more calm environment where your emotions and your thoughts are not all over the place, um, away from somebody who um, puts your head and heart in a in a spot that you don't like. Uh, you are going to uh, move forward. So they come out like this. So you're moving away from somebody who is emotionally draining, and you're moving towards somebody to offer them love or love is going to be offered to you after you leave this situation that's emotionally draining. Could be moving towards, uh, you're just moving towards uh, the direction of emotional stability. This person in the past has really uh, made you feel emotionally unstable. They've made you, made your emotions so out of balance that, um, that it caused your head to be all over the place. This was just a lot of head games with this person, I feel. But you are coming into love. You are moving towards love um, and moving towards a past life relationship. Your energy here is temperance. So you have worked hard um, to really bring balance to your emotions, bring balance to your thoughts, um, and really self-heal and work with your angels, work with your energy, and master the balance of um, the ups and downs of life. Being able to emotionally um, emotionally withstand things without losing it. Uh, this is also the balancing of masculine and feminine energy within the twin flame uh, journey, which is what we're dealing with here. Uh with temperance, it's really about coming together with your other half, with your other soul's half. The marrying of divine masculine, divine feminine, intertwining and becoming one energy without effort, without um, spilling a drop, you know. You're finding the courage and the strength to move forward and um, to go after what it is that you really want. This is facing your fears. No longer allowing this person to have control over the situation, control over your emotions. Um, you're facing your fears and moving away from that energy. You're, when you um, master your emotions and face your fears, you're going to come into a more stable uh, sense of self. 
This is somebody who loves and nurtures themselves, loves and nurtures their partner, their family, their friends, um, but most importantly, can uh, provide for themselves. You don't need anybody to make you feel whole in here, let alone uh, financially support you. This is uh, more when it's, to me, when it's uh, paired with temperance and strength, this is more about uh, finding or knowing that you can nurture yourself and that you can bring balance and love into your own life and not um, depending on someone else to bring you happiness, to bring you, uh, to make you feel loved because you know that you are no matter what. This is also, however, bringing, um, finding out that you are finance, you're able to financially support yourself as well. The queen of Pentacles doesn't need anybody because she loves and nurtures the relationship whether it's with herself or with somebody else. So that is very beautiful energy for you Libras. Amazing. This is also telling me that you, um, no matter what you did to nurture this relationship, it wasn't working because you're wore out from nurturing something that did not give you anything in return. So you're walking away from that. You're finding the courage, facing your fears, and setting your sights on the future, moving forward. You could be dealing with a fire sign, um, female, or it doesn't have to be female because this is a uh, general, but a male or female fire sign or earth sign. That's the two signs I see here. Fire or earth is who you're heading towards. Um, water or air is where you're moving from. Yeah. So um, this person is very attractive. You are very attracted to this person. They are good looking. They are stable. People are drawn to them. They have uh, energy about them that is just so loving and healing. Um, this person is a healer. They um, are a light worker. They, are, they work with source very closely. And that's why so many people are drawn to them because their energy, something about them is just healing. And you find that with them as well. You feel just being in their presence brings you balance, brings you peace, brings you love. And that is what you want in your life. Um, this is somebody that you left in the past. This is somebody that you shut the door on and um, wanted to work on the relationship that you currently had. Uh, this is also them no longer. Um, they could have been facing financial difficulties, but they are no longer. They are very well grounded and very well ready to receive your love offer that is being made. Um, there was, they were the third party in this situation for a lot of you, um, or they were the one that had a third party, but that is coming to an end. They are only wanting to invest in you and, um, or, uh, you to them. But the third party here is, is ending. Um, in your guys's overall energy, you have the two of wands in reverse. So, this, the person that had three people or that had two people besides themselves, they felt they were tied and bound to them both. They didn't know who to go with, uh, go with. Um, they were looking for answers everywhere, but inside themselves. And when they couldn't get an answer to who to pick or which direction to go, that is when they went within. This is them going within, choosing a path, choosing a person and untying themselves from um, one of the third parties, whether this is you Libra making this decision or you're waiting for someone to make this decision. The decision is being made because they've gone within. They have figured it out that um, this is to me, this isn't always secrets. Um, they they know that um, this is like whoever this person is that is connected to source. They are connected to the moon. They are very connected um, to the cycles of the moon. This is doing moon rituals. This is doing, um, this is going within and letting the divine light shine, illuminate and following that. This is the moon of the, in the eight of cups Th they have come to that place. They, in the eight of cups, the moon is in the background and they take off that path and they follow the light of the divine that is shine on from the moon. This is at the end of the eight of cups. This is where the moon has led them. Um, you could also be dealing with a Pisces or cancer here, but they have gone within. They have let the light of the moon guide them. And not only that, but this is like romance to me. This person is romantically going to come forward and make you a love offer 
Um, they have spent a lot of time. Um, the person that you are in separation from spent a lot of time wondering, when are you coming back? When are you going to make this love offer? I know that we've been connected in many lifetimes before, but I want this person in my life now. Um, yeah, I'm stable. Yeah, I'm well educated. Yeah, I'm well connected to the universe. But when the heck are you going to untie yourself and come forward? And that is um, coming for you, Libras, very soon if you are the one waiting. If you are the one that is making the choice, you are moving towards this person as well. Um, and that will be uh, very soon for, yeah, for this group of you. So very positive energy for you Libras. What advice do you have for Libra? Oh, thank you. All right. You had to the Phoenix resurrection surrender to change. So you are rising up from the ashes or this is your person that you are moving towards really rebuilding your life in the, in the way that you want it. You had to go through the fire in order to find success and you are now surrendering to change and moving forward. You also have the spiritual dancer, a circulus root and perception. So, um, your guys' path to each other is not always a straight shot. You sometimes have to, um, take detours and go in different directions than each other, but the destination is always the same. And the destination for this group of you is reunion. And that is coming to you guys very soon. Um, very strong energy here. So, um, it's all in how you perceive it. If you keep telling yourself they're not never, they're never going to come back, then it's only going to take longer. So make sure your perception is always a glass half full instead of half empty and um, beautiful blessings are coming your way Libras. So I hope you guys have a beautiful end to December. Happy holidays for those of you who celebrate. And um, I hope you guys have a beautiful new year. We will see you next time. I send you love, light and God bless.